Hello everyone, I'm Ayan and this is Jai and you're watching the seventh episode of our series sponsored by Coastal Pet Products of everything you can do with your dog while being stuck at home. And today we are going to talk about how to get your dog to listen to you even if he's far away. So grab your dog, get comfortable, settle in and let's begin. <laughs> So, every dog owner knows this feeling. When your dog is far away and you're calling them and they completely ignore you in the most frustrating way. Now, if we want to get our dogs to listen to us better, we first need to understand what motivates them. Most dogs grew up learning that if they're near us and they don't listen to us, there are consequences. But once they're far away and they don't listen to what we ask of them, usually there is really not much we can do about it. And they notice that too. So what happens with most dogs is that they become a little bit rebellious when it comes to commands from afar and we stop correcting them from fear of failure because we simply cannot control them. So basically, if we had a way to correct our dogs when they're far away, if we had a way to control them so we could potentially reshape their reality and create the same habit of obedience that they display when they're near us. So, I'm happy to introduce to you your tool to control your dog from afar, and that is the long leash. When Chai was just a puppy, we spent the first six months together on a long leash with no exception. During this time, I was in 100% control over his reality. For a period of six months, he never got to run away. He never got to pick up something from the floor or chase a cat or do anything that I disapprove of without me having the ability to correct him by pulling him slightly on the leash. I could see that being 10 meters away from him allowed him to feel completely free and independent. But still, he was never alone. I was always watching, always correcting, always in 100% control. That became his reality and put the building blocks of the relationship we ended up having in the future. So, now that you understand the importance of long distance control, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about working on a long leash. So, let's get started. Okay guys, let's talk for a second a little bit about the qualities of the leash that I recommend you should get. First, um, the perfect length is 10 meters in my eyes. It gives the dog enough freedom, but also it's manageable and it's easy to work with. Second, I recommend you to use the simple ones and not the one with the roller and the buttons because this is a much more natural approach. The dog feels it less on this collar and it helps you create that false feeling of freedom that we want to create while we're working on the long leash. So this is exactly the kind of leash you should be getting and let's get started and talk a little bit more about it. So we'll start by introducing the leash to our dogs. Connect your dog to the leash and first give him a few commands that he knows really well without any distance between you, just to warm up. Then, ask your dog to stay and take one step back. If your dog doesn't know how to stay, you should check out our first episode of this series where we teach everything you need to know about this command. Now, once you've taken one step back, give your dog the same commands with a bit of a distance between you. It is better if we don't use treats for this exercise because we want to work on the authentic habit itself of the dog listening to us just because we've asked so. Whenever your dog succeeds, immediately come closer and instead of a treat, give him a physical reinsurance to make sure he understands he did good. Now, there are two important things to notice when working on a long leash. First, it's to use it physically whenever your dog doesn't listen by pulling gently on the leash. It's just a tiny physical gesture that reminds the dog that you're in control even if you're far away. The second is to add a sound to the pool. Mine is tsh. You can choose a different sound of your own. But make sure that from today on, every time you pull the leash, you add this sound. That way, you're creating an attachment between the physical correction and the sound itself. So that one day, you will be able to only use the sound even if the dog is not on a leash at all and he will react similarly. Keep practicing patiently while constantly moving further away from your dog. Another good practice is to let your dog chew on a toy or a bone while being connected to the leash and ask him to let go. Just like the previous exercise, start from really close and then slowly but surely move backwards. And remember, if the dog doesn't listen, correct him in the same way we mentioned before by pulling the leash gently and making the sound. 
Next, we are going to start walking our dogs outside using the long leash. Remember that this is not just a walk, but a working exercise. You should constantly challenge your dog throughout the walk by giving him different commands and use the leash and the sound for correction. Very soon you'll notice how your entire communication becomes more fluent and more responsive. You can also set traps like leaving some food on the floor of the street and wait for your dog to notice. That way you create more opportunities for learning experiences. The leash can also help you practice the stay command when you're outdoors or work with your dog on different walking positions. But mostly, the leash allows you to prepare your dog for any situation you might come across if you ever decide to walk with your dog freely, like waiting before crossing the street and so on. You want to be persistent and keep using the leash every time you leave the house. Keep working this way for at least a period of few months until you feel like your dog's obedience is in the level you want it to be and there is hardly any need for corrections anymore. Only then you can start setting him free. But remember that once you take off the leash and let your dog roam freely, you are basically giving up on your one tool of control and bad habits might quickly return. However, the best thing about the leash is that if you ever notice a change in your dog's obedience after a while of being free, you can always go back to the leash and continue using this method until your dog regains his good behavior. Okay guys, I really hope you liked everything we've been doing so far with the long leash. I just want to emphasize a few more extra benefits that this long leash has. The first thing is to get your dog to come to you immediately. One of the most frustrating things a dog can do is when you call them and they're far away and they're stalling and they're coming and going and once you start working with the long leash and you practice a lot, you can perfect this command and get your dog to come to you the second you just call his name, which is an amazing benefit. The second is that the long leash teaches your dog that the 10 meter radius is the distance he is pretty much allowed to stray away from you. After working with the leash for a very long period of time, it becomes a new reality of the dog and he stops trying to wander too far or gets lost or run away. So it can give you a lot more peace, control and trust with your dog. And the third one, do you remember the exercise I gave you before, working with the bone and asking your dog to release it? It happens so many times when a dog pick up something on the floor and you tell him to leave it, but they will just try to swallow it as fast as they can. The more you practice on this one, the more control you have in telling your dog, even if you cut him, correct it on time and telling him to let go of whatever it is that he has in his mouth. So, to sum things up, there are endless amount of benefits of working with a long leash. In my eyes, it's a must-have product for every dog owner, especially those who are struggling to control their dogs in the outdoors. And even though it's a hassle to carry it around and to constantly adjust the length and get caught up in things and objects, it is a temporary tool. And I promise you that one day it will be worth it because that will be the work that allows you to walk freely with your dog with so much more confidence and understanding between the two of you and it will give you all the control you need. Okay guys, I really hope you find this video helpful and you're gonna run and get yourself a long leash and start incorporating this method in your everyday life. Please let us know how your dog reacted to the long leash and share with us videos of you working together and maybe some of you will get to be featured in our Instagram stories. I also want to thank Costal Pet Products for sponsoring this video, for giving us this amazing leash to work with. If you like the one we had or you want to see the other options that these guys have for long leashes, then you're more than welcome to check out their website in the link that I left in the description box below and choose the one that you like best for your dog. I want to remind you that recently we started a new service of giving individual online sessions for dog owners who have specific questions for the dog's behavior and would like to get my input on it. So if you're interested in getting more information about the service, you should send us an email to the address linked in the description box below or contact us in any one of our social media platforms. And one more thing before we go, we only have one last episode before we complete this series. So, to the request of so many of you, I've decided to dedicate the last episode to giving you all of the information you need about traveling your dog. It's going to be relevant for people who want to travel small, whether camping or taking your dog for an afternoon somewhere, and to people who want to travel big and border crossing and flying. I'm going to try to squeeze all the information you need to know into one episode. Most importantly, as we're going to talk about traveling with dogs, you will see how valuable was all of this information that I gave you throughout this series and why all of these little things can actually make a difference now that you want to start 
taking your dog to more places. So I cannot wait to see you there. Thank you for watching and have an amazing week.